So do we have a good name for this? Ultimate Encanto Quiz. Ultimate Something. Ultra Clickbait <coughs> Encanto Quiz. <laughs> Welcome to the Clickbait Encanto Quiz. You should say Ultimate. Ultimate Clickbait Encanto Quiz. <laughs> <laughs> Ten Encanto Quizzes you can't believe are still alive. Ten Encanto Questions and you can't believe what they look like now. Hey! Hey brother, and welcome everyone to another edition of J versus Ben, where today we are taking on the ultimate Encanto quiz. Ultimate, huh? That's the one you went with? I went with, I mean, I could have gone with the world's hardest Encanto quiz. <laughs> there are so many options available. However, it is going to be difficult. Everybody in the office reminded me of the last time we did an Encanto quiz, and I don't know how much it showed up on camera, but I was raging by the end of it. It was the finish of the lyric quiz. I really went poorly. I think everybody Everybody's a little on edge about today, especially me. Let's dive on in. <laughs> Top 10 questions about Encanto that drive Ben crazy. <laughs> In case you guys are new to the J versus Ben format, this is how it is going to work. Kangaroo Cat is on the other end of the microphone. She's waving, but you can't see her. And she's going to be reading us today's 10 standard quiz questions, plus an additional five quiz. Yeah, that was right. <laughs> Why'd you freeze? From the top. Run it again. Why did you freeze? That was right. All right, three, two, one. Hey, brother. In case you guys are new to the J versus Ben format, this is how it is going to work. Kangaroo Cat is on the other end of the microphone. She's going to be reading us today's 10 standard quiz questions, plus an additional five questions from our quiz masters over on Patreon. Ben and I are going to answer all the questions completely from memory, but if neither of us have any idea, we can opt for the multiple choice. If you'd like to play along, there's a link to this quiz in the description down below. When was the last time you watched Encanto? So. Oh man, I mean, I watched like the first 15 minutes of it maybe like last week because I wanted my kids to watch it and then they started screaming. We're like, no, we want to watch Super Kitties. And I was like, I hate that show. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then we ended up watching Super Kitties. <laughs> so if we were doing a Super Kitties quiz, you'd be great. Labrat! <laughs> <laughs> Some people got it. Question one. What animal is depicted on the magic candle? What animal? Yeah. Boy, that is a good old fashioned question right there. I knew how to do the whole thing in cursive. What question? Oh, wow, good job. What, what is on the <laughs> candle? I feel like there aren't any weird ones in there. I feel like Z <laughs> is the only like <laughs> like lettering cursive that my brain still doesn't know how to do. Yeah, or like X. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, X is a weird it's, one too. It's like X is just sort of like. <sighs> yeah. I will say there are probably some like uppercase versions that I that I don't remember either. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like I don't, I don't even know if I know what an S looks like. Yeah. Fun fact: if you're in second or third grade and watching this, That's and your I, teachers oh, are currently teaching I you just, cursive, you won't ever use it again. <laughs> Except sign your name. I just drew a cursive S on my thing. Okay. I was going to show you, but then I was going to show you my answer. <laughs> now, <laughs> couldn't do it. Now I want. Uh, yeah. Okay. You ready? I do not yeah. S. Two, one. A two can. A butterfly. Oh, so much. Boy, let me tell you what. <laughs> the word animal is what threw me off. Not Instead like, of insects. Not like what insect is on it. Oh, not even what creature is what on creature. it. Gotcha. Yeah. I that, guess that's my bad, that, but also I feel like butterflies guess, are like a huge part of the theme of Encanto. Yeah. Which is why I made this the first question. It's <laughs> fine. I'm not upset <laughs> at all. I wonder if the, since the last time we did the Encanto quiz, I got really upset. I wonder if today's your day. <laughs> Welcome, welcome I mean, to the Jay Gets Angry quiz. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and it's super fun because I wrote both of those quizzes. I know, I know, so yeah. I'm not nervous over here at all. It's Check it fine. out on Cat accordingly. Yeah. yeah, it's fine. Question two. Who is the youngest Madrigal? <sighs> okay, I got this one. I, I feel pretty, pretty, pretty comfortable about this one. Yes, yes. Yeah. I, yeah. So one, two, three. I put two can again. <laughs> <laughs> Little Antonio, Antonio Banderas. Yes. yes. Antonio. <laughs> yep. I'm not going to lie, you guys. I'm wearing he is. extra poofy sleeves today, and there's an open <laughs> flame, and I write like this, and <laughs> oh I'm like... Gosh. I am so, this is, it's not good. I know, I know, yeah. I'm you nervous. You really, you really. The, the people are, who've seen the candle, you can push it forward now no, if you no, would like. Keep, no, no, Ben, no. it's on theme, okay? This okay. is a Disney movie about a potential, a princess, maybe, yep. unconfirmed Mirabelle. It's got a candle in it. Ours has a castle on it, not a butterfly. Mm -hmm. On but. a completely unrelated note that has absolutely <laughs> nothing to do with the governing franchise that we're talking about today, we do have these lovely princess themed candles available over at Carly Mothers Mercantile. Link in the description down below. Not even one of them has a butterfly on it. <laughs> <laughs> and now 
now it's time for the first Quizmaster question of the game. This question was submitted by Michaela Henry and voted on by patrons. Uh, when Augustine has an allergic reaction to bees at the beginning of the movie, which of his body parts swell? Which of his, like, how, like we have to list all of them? Yes. Can you give us a number of body parts? Does that seem fair? Uh, f- four? Oh, I didn't have whoops. enough. <laughs> I didn't have enough. Uh, um, you don't have to be if 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 there's an option in there that's like it could be on the left or the right of his body. You don't have to be that specific. Okay, I'll give you that. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. This is what I'm going with. I am trying to think of like what else. I know this is like I feel like the last one I wrote was kind of like I guess. Okay. We'll, we'll see Can't. how this goes. Okay, you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. I said ear, nose, hand, lips. Yeah, I said ear, nose, hand, cheek. Y'all are so close. It is ear, nose, and both hands. That hand, oh. that, no. That's it's just, one hand and the other hand. <laughs> no, that's that's hand. That's hands. I that's feel like, hand. I feel like we both had nose, ear, and hand, and then we both added, added something else. Something, yeah. I feel, I don't know. I, mean, I feel like. Wait, you know what? Cat doesn't have to give us the points, but like we can like, know. We, we, know. Know. we can know in we our know. heart yeah. yes. that we had it. Right. That we had it. Yeah. Yes. Um, okay. Okay. I thought that I thought that your your qualifier of like you don't need to like delineate just meant that like, like, it like was hands the... was like No, I was saying you didn't have to say like left ear or right ear. Oh yeah. okay. Yep. Uh, I guess I, I can understand where you're coming That's from. That's more what I meant. It feels like that qualifier though makes it feel misleading about hands. Then you wouldn't have to say. Yeah, I didn't think about that. That's my bad. Okay. I can I can feel the J rage coming. It's, it's coming. Uh, it's like, this is my rage burns as hot as this candle available at <laughs> CarlaBellsMarketPile.com. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna promote these so hard today. <laughs> Question four. Okay. What did Dolores hear that made her think Luisa was worried about the Encanto's magic? Okay. Okay. Do we need to delineate between left and right or both? No. No. <laughs> Okay, I think we're good. Or neither. I feel good. I feel good. I feel good. All right. Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Her eye twitching. Eye twitching. Yes, her yeah. eye was twitching. That's right. That is correct. Okay. Excellent. Got it. You do. Question five. What is the first animal to appear when Antonio touches his door? <laughs> oh, man. Ba-boom. Oh, wait. Oh, dear. Okay. All right. Ready? One, two, three. Butter for two cans. <laughs> okay, okay. It is a two can. Okay. Yep. Uh, I couldn't remember if it was like a little one. critter that like runs up to him. Do you, this isn't a bonus point, but I just thought of this. Do y'all remember the, the two can's name and who voices him? Alan Tudyk. It is Alan Tudyk. I don't remember his name though, unless believe, it's also Alan Tudyk. No, I believe his name is Pico. His name is Alan. <laughs> his name is Alan. His name is Alan. <laughs> name, oh, raise man. your hand if you got that reference. <laughs> Marcel the shell with shoes on anybody? <laughs> One of our faves. And now it's time for the second Quizmaster question of the game. This question was submitted by Snape's cat and voted on by patrons. During Isabella's song, What Else Can I Do? A Mickey Mouse Easter egg appears as what object in her room? Um, I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna go with this. I feel like I can't think of what else uh, it would be. It has to be. Ready? I feel like yeah. I'll have pointed it out before. Okay. Sure. One, two, three. A cactus. A, ca- a cactus is correct. Kablam! Yep. Yep. Oh, oh man. man, we're on a roll. There you what go. What can I do? Dude, I will tell you what, that song way <clears throat> grew on me. I really love Luisa's. Ah, uh, like plants. Is it like plants? Or candles. No, no, no. Uh, Stop. Too <laughs> much you know of a stretch. Too much of a stretch. <laughs> Question seven. Which of the following does not appear in the quote unquote dream sequence of the song Surface Pressure? Okay. I like how you say dream sequence as if it's not Mirabelle's dark power completely taking over everything. Which right. it is. Yeah, I didn't know if I should phrase the question that way or like <laughs> yeah. the way that it sort of appears. I don't know. Whose canon just... do you believe, Cat? <laughs> Full video by clicking the card. <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay. <laughs> a, an iceberg. B, coal crushed into diamonds. C, a line of doors. Or D, balance scales. I got you all day, man. No problem whatsoever. And I even see what you're trying to do. Thank you. <laughs> all right. He's ready. One, yeah. two, three. It's B. It is B. For sure. Diamonds. Yes. For sure. She says she, it out loud. She, she talks does. about it, but we never see it. Yeah. 
Yeah. I do love that song. Oh, that, I mean, that was, that was, <laughs> I, that song, it's like, it's like a little too like honest. I think the first, I remember, I saw Encanto when it came out in theaters by myself. Yeah. Cause like no one else, I think you were doing something. And I was like, I guess I'll go see this because maybe we should talk about it on the channel. I haven't seen like any marketing for it or anything, but you know, and I'm sitting there and I'm watching and all of a sudden surface pressure comes on and it's like, I'm feeling like I'm worthless if I can't be of service. And all of a sudden I was like, oh no. Oh no, I know, I know. Oh, no yeah. it's too real. I'm, oh no, it's like, I can't. I'm, I'm all by myself I'm a, for this song. <laughs> I this need is, a moving yeah, body. I didn't know it was going to be like this. <laughs> Do y'all, I think I've told y'all this before. Do y'all remember where I saw it for the first time? No. It was on a Disney cruise. Well, that's cool. Oh. It was super cool. All righty, question eight. What tall character does Camillo turn into to help hang a banner for Antonio? Oh. For Antonio's celebration. There is just no way I know this person's name. <laughs> yeah. Not one Multiple name. choice? I'd go sure. multiple choice. Let me write down a guess, just in case, so people, you know, can see. All right, people can't read this word, but okay. Okay. Is it A, Jose, B, Osvaldo, C, Jorge, or D, Mariano? Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Ready? One, yeah. two, three. I said C. I said B. It is A, Jose. Oh, man! Oh. Jose! Yeah, I think I think uh, maybe Abuela says, Camilo, we need another Jose. And then he goes, Jose? And then like grows as he's uh, saying it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Jose. I'll tell you yeah, what, that's funny. out of all the voice actors in this, Camilo, like sneakily, might be one of my favorites. There's something about his voice that's just like, you got a cool voice, man. Oh, interesting. Yeah, he doesn't have nearly enough speaking. He lines. really doesn't. He's he is yeah. very underutilized in this movie. Yeah, he he definitely that that's sort of like what I always come back to is he always just kind of seems like the like he's he's just like a teenager. He's you just know? a teenager, he's just man. Teenager. He's there. You yeah. know what? There's like, a well, scene. we don't have a house. We don't, can't say we don't have a house. <laughs> we don't have a house. <laughs> but every line house. he says, every time I'm just like, I just love the way every line you say is delivered. Yeah. There's a scene I think where he's like taking like a ton of arepas to like go have breakfast, and someone yeah. walks up and is like, hey. Don't do that. I know you're not Dolores. And it's just like, you look back at the table and there's like a mountain of them. It's like, what? why isn't he allowed to have more? <laughs> what is the problem? Everyone is entitled to as many array as they want. There's so many. <laughs> that is true. There's a lot. And then uh, the casita just smacks him with a little window pane right there. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Casita, okay. AKA Pedro. AKA Pedro. Uh, you know what I'm AKA Abuelo Pedro. That's right. And now it's time for the third Quizmaster question of the game. This question was submitted by Dola and voted on by patrons. What time does Antonio's ceremony begin? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got that, I think. All right. Maybe, well, now mm, I'm maybe thinking this about is where it. Jay comes back. <laughs> maybe, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm feeling less good. I'm being for really honest with you. I'm changing it. I'm, I'm Ooh, going with a okay. gut. I'm going with a gut change, even though I had it. If I was right, I'm going to be so upset. <laughs> you are. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. It's at seven p.m. I said six. It is seven. Oh yeah. Oh, did you say six originally? I said five originally. Okay. And I was like, okay. It's too dark. Okay. Yeah. Like, it is pretty like, dark. Would it be dark? I'm pretty sure this is near to the equator, so I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so. That, does that matter? It doesn't matter. I re it made sense in my head when I thought it, and so I changed it, and I got it right. There you go. Okay. Well, shucks. Yeah. Well, shucks. I was even thinking seven. Mm -hmm. I was thinking seven. Yeah. I can't prove it, but I was. <laughs> you didn't write it down. Didn't write it down. Yeah. It's easy to say you were thinking it. <laughs> I was probably caught up on six because six times two is 12, and that's the number of candles available in our monthly <laughs> subscription. How <laughs> 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 Just trying to find as many ways to, <laughs> to work that in there. Yeah, I know, right? This one smells like a whole new world, like the Encanto Actually, or some of, other thing. Speaking of working things in there, it's probably about that time, eh, chaps? Oh, it is. Yeah, look at this guy. Just leaving me here to burn. Hello and welcome everybody to the Scenic Group, where as you know, I get to step away from the table, from the quiz just for a little bit, some take in a little bit of air. And just get a little bit of privacy, you know? And the excellent news is that privacy is not hard to find, thanks to today's sponsor, ExpressVPN. Here's the thing, nobody likes being tracked every single second of the day, or for that matter, any second 
of the day, right? I mean, just imagine, if you will, that someone inside of your house had, let's say, supersonic hearing and was able to listen to literally every single thing you did and then wrote it down and then continue to gossip about it as well. Although, to be fair to someone like Dolores, for example, I can't imagine she really wants to hear it any more than you want it to be heard. But in the case of internet providers, this is pretty much what they're doing. They're listening to everything. But it's true. Every single time you go online, your provider is logging every single website you visit, every single thing you click, and they can legally sell that information bunch of gossips. But what ExpressVPN does is reroutes your connection through their secure servers. This means that your internet service provider can't see what you're doing online, and ExpressVPN's trusted server technology also means they're not logging your information either. And don't just take my word for it. ExpressVPN is so confident in their no logs claim, they even had one of their biggest assurance firms, PricewaterhouseCoopers, audit their technology. And that is why ExpressVPN is rated number one by CNET, Wired, and TechRadar, and so many others, including us here at Super Carl and Brothers. That's right, we rank them number one. So stop letting people log what you're doing online and find out how you can get three months free when you head on over to expressvpn.com slash J versus B. Again, that's going to be three months free when you head on over to expressvpn.com slash J versus B. Expressvpn.com slash J versus B. Link in the description down below. All right, guys. Well, while Ben's away, I wanted to talk to you guys about some quality items. I know here at the scenic table, we've shown a lot of quality things over the years, mostly cake. The thing is, though, it's hard for you guys to experience that cake. But today's sponsor, it is very tangible and easy for you to experience. Today's sponsor is MeUndies. Yeah, I know. We've talked about MeUndies a lot on this show, but that's because they're the best dang underpants out there, you guys. And you can get 25% off plus free shipping when you order through their website. Although you can also buy them on Amazon and at Nordstrom stores in person across the country. And look, you guys know I love to treat myself and I often use these ad reads as an excuse to order myself an entire cake. But the great thing about me undies is that it's the treat that keeps on treat, which I'm not really sure if that's an expression, but it should be. For real though, you can only enjoy something like cake for several bites, but me undies, I'm wearing them all day, 24 set. Well, not during like shower, you know what I mean. Personally, I made the switch years ago, like way before they started sponsoring us. And I decided then that I was just never going back and I've been wearing them ever since. And shopping for MeUndies has never been easier. In the mood to feel their famous fabric and see their bright fun prints in person, head to one of their select Nordstrom store locations or visit Amazon for men's and women's basics that are sure to change your underwear game. Of course, the MeUndies website is still the best way to explore all the undies and apparels they have to offer from men's and women's undies to joggers to socks and bralettes, there's something for every comfy need. And you can join the MeUndies membership and save up to 30% on most purchases. Members also get tons of perks like early access and free shipping. And you too can get free shipping on your first order and 25% off when you head over to MeUndies.com slash JVerseB. One more time, that's MeUndies.com slash JVerseB. This offer is available only on online purchases. And remember, if you're not satisfied with your order, it's free, it's on MeUndies. So be sure to check them out. I swear they're the most comfortable underwear you will ever have. Link is in the description down below. And I'm back. I'm All back. right, I did catch on fire. Oh, hey, <laughs> I'm proud of you. Thanks. I'm proud of you. Good well, job. job well done, job well done. <laughs> All right, are we, is it, are we on question 10? We are on question 10. Huzzah to Huzzah. that. Huzzah, question 10. The armed conflict depicted at the beginning of the movie is likely supposed to be a part of what war that occurred in Colombia? Oh. Like in real life. We've talked about it. Yeah, we have. I think that's it. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure that's it. I think. I oh boy, I, I might. Did I put. Mm. I know. I have a feeling we're struggling with the same thing. Okay. And yeah. Like, ready? Yeah. Maybe one, two, three. The Thousand Day Conflict. Oh conflict. shoot! It is the thousand, thousand Day War, but yeah, I'll, I'll give it to you. Okay. Yeah. I think you can look it up, and it'll say Thousand Day Conflict sometimes. But okay, the Hundred Year War is uh, an Avatar. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jay, coming back up. The boom! All right. Guys, I'm must mad. I'm feeling <laughs> a lot better. Good job. I, I th that was like one of those where I was like. It's a thing. So Thousand Day War is what it is. Yes. Thousand Day War. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I w then I was like, is it Hundred Day War or a thousand? That's a pretty big difference. Mm -hmm. That is a big difference. Yeah. Question 11. At the proposal dinner, what food does Mariano pass in front of Mirabelle's face, forcing her to take her eyes off of Dolores? Oh my, I, I will give no... you. I'll give you a bit of a hint in that you can't super see it. You kind of just see a bowl, but he says what it is. I see. Okay, I'm going is, uh, with this. I'm going with this too. 
You think it's the same this? Uh, yeah, maybe. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Salad. Salad. Oh, wow. No, <laughs> that is weird. It is, it's avocado. You, they just have a bowl of avocado? Yeah, he just says avocado. And like, what? Passes it. Okay. Who says it? Mariano, even though he's like two spots away from her, but it's for sure his voice. Well. And his, his hands. They just have a bowl of, I don't even know what that means. Is it mashed up avocado? Is it just like a bowl know. with a avocado? It's oh, probably hey, a bowl hey, of avocado. like avocado. of sliced avocado. I don't know. A bowl of sliced avocado. I don't know how they ate avocado back in the the whatever hundreds in Colombia. It'd be surprising to me that all food consumed inside casita hasn't like touched some sort of heating surface as to activate Julieta's powers upon it. You know, like she has to, does she have to cook the food or just prepare it? I don't know. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like, it's like one of those things. It's like what what constitutes like healing powers, right? Yeah. Also, is she the only one that ever cooks anything in the house? It would. Make that's sense. a lot. That's a lot of food. That is a lot, lot of food to cook for like all for not, one person to cook for all family. Not to mention, it seems like she cooks for the whole village because she's out there fixing broken arms and such. Um, I'll tell you, these she people a, are getting she broke. a busy lady. She's busy man. And now it's time for the fourth quiz master question of the game. This question was submitted by Savannah and voted on by patrons. How many pieces of Bruno's vision of Mirabelle are there? Oh, dreams. Um, I'm gonna go with that many, if I had to guess. <laughs> if I had to say so. Ben's sitting over here trying He's to like put it together. He's like reassembling the puzzle. <laughs> In his head. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. 12? Oh, it is my favorite number, which is 18. 18? 18. 18. What? That's 18? way too many. I will say I didn't fact check this one, but that's what she put. Man. <laughs> so I'm oh. trusting Savannah to have the right answer and to well, have counted this out. Bravo, Savannah. I thought it was way fewer than that because I'm I did too. Like, I was like, that feels like too 18. many. 18. Because right. isn't, like, isn't Mirabelle like in the room and she's like piecing it together and like. Yeah, like a little puzzle. Yeah. A little puzzle. Like an 18 piece puzzle would take a while, especially yeah, when it's made of like green jade material. I know. Yeah, I guess. Like, yourself on my glass maybe yeah. there's some that are just like smooth i mean hard to say okay <laughs> we'll just have to go well i mean i just take your word for it savannah i guess okay. so i guess so all right fine fine during the breakfast scene two creatures called coaties jump on augustine and steal what i will say i thought these things were just like dark colored lemurs until i looked it up okay it's the same animal that like warms a whale's seat or whatever okay during the breakfast scene, two of these pop up and steal from who? Augustine, Mirabelle's dad. Okay. Boy, I'm not paying attention to the food nearly in enough. this movie, apparently nearly <laughs> enough. I know, yeah, it's like, if you want to dig deep into the themes, let's talk about that all day. I, yeah. I, I will say it's not food. Oh, it's not food. They steal something off of his person. Okay. Well then. Okay. They steal something off of his person. Okay, that's uh, my guess. I have a guess and that's it. That's all I can do. Okay. All right. All right, you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Is that a watch? Is that his glasses? Uh, it is a pocket watch. Boom! So I will I will give that to, they steal it right out of his yeah. little pocket. That's what I, I mean, that's what I was, you can't like tell, picturing. but I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay, I'll give it to you. Pocketable watch. Yep. A watch that can be pocketed. Uh, I did have his glasses as like a- <laughs> This like a is getting answer. real slippery real fast. It's getting real <laughs> slippery. Oh, Sorry, guys. Well, well, I mean, wow. I feel like I started strong. Ending, <laughs> ending week. Things are looking down. At least yeah. you knew there was a butterfly on the candle. <laughs> <laughs> right, there's that. Question 14. How many times do we see Julieta heal an ailment throughout the movie? How many times? And a bonus uh, point if you can name them all. What? If you can name them all, that is redonkulous right there is what I think. Um, uh, okay, this is my guess. This is my guess. All right, you ready? Yeah. One, two, three, five, five. It's actually four. Four? What, really? In the yep. song, it's only two? Yeah, in the song, it's only two. It's a black eye and a broken wrist. There's like clearly more people behind her, but we don't see them heal her. See her heal them. Right. I watched it like four times just to make sure. Okay. Um, And then Augustine's first Face, bee stings the at the beginning. Hand. He has bee stings at the end, but we don't see her heal them. Um, And Mirabelle's cut hand. Right. 
Well, those are all the instances I was thinking of. I just thought it was three people in line. Yeah, yeah. That, uh, that's, I, I felt like that sequence in, in the song was more. Yeah, I thought it was, yeah, there was, I thought it was gonna be three too, but I, I did rewatch it many times. Just all right. Sure. And now it's time for the fifth quiz master question of the game. This question was submitted by Carrie Elida. Elida, apologies if I'm mispronouncing that. And voted on by patrons. What types of entertainment does Bruno <clears throat> tell Mirabelle the rats can perform? Okay, I got it. Um, I mean, this, I think. I have a select all that apply if you would prefer to use that. All that apply, oh. It's like boom, boom, boom. I see what you mean, okay. Boom, 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 boom. I don't know how many there are, these, question these, mark. You know, <laughs> okay, um, uh, okay. How many? Uh, I don't know. I, I think I, this I is feel it. like I thought I, I thought I felt like I knew what was. <laughs> I thought I knew I felt like maybe what was going on. And yeah, now I thought. I, now I, I thought don't. the answer meant one thing, and now I realize it means a broader thing. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. I said telenovelas, um, game show, and sports. I said. <coughs> yeah, it's telenovelas, game shows, and sports. Oh! Not in that order, but yeah. Oh man, <laughs> I'm pretty proud of myself for that, that one. Pretty, yeah. I will, I will yeah. hand it to you. That was pretty good, Jay. That was bam. Pretty good. That, uh, that big old brain of yours is going to work. Big again. old brain. I love when she's like, I don't get it. He's like, Well, she's his aunt, but she can't remember. He's like, Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> I no, not the show. Yeah, when y'all started like questioning, I was like, y'all definitely got the telenovelas part. Yeah, yeah. But there are two things that he says before that. Oh, man. Boom. This is, this is unrelated, but uh, if you've ever never like, want a good show to watch, Jane the Virgin is a pure delight. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, yeah. it like, is uh, so good. I think there's like... It's a telenovela that makes fun of telenovelas right. yes, in the yeah. most beautiful way. But it is adorable and it amazing, is. and I think you would enjoy it. Yeah. Okay. Well, at least that's over with. Everybody's going to have words once we're done, as oh, for always. Post and Conto quiz. Make sure everybody's nice and tense here around the office. <gasps> I'm really glad that it's almost five o'clock. <laughs> I'm, feeling pretty, I'm feeling pretty good. I, had quite, I staged quite a comeback. Uh, you really did. did. You yeah. did. did. That was very impressive. <clears throat> thank you. I'm, thank I'm you. proud of you as ever. Guys, be sure to let us know how you did in the towel section down below. Thank you so much for your support uh, to all of our patrons who submitted questions for today. They were difficult and awesome and really cool. If you would ever like to have a question of your own asked here on one of the J versus Ben's, you can head on over to patreon.com slash supercarlin brothers and select the quiz master's tier. I want to know what kind of game show questions he's making up for the mice. <laughs> like, how, <laughs> how much trivia can you know? <laughs> if this is like one of those things where, you, like, how do you come up with entertaining trivia? I know, like, like his his whole life has been inside the Encanto. Like, I'm surprised <laughs> he even knows what TV is. They have, they must have TV. They must. They must. Or, he, or just he's like, just like invented telenovelas on his own. On his own, yeah. It's pretty good too. I think Bruno's a creative guy. He's had a lot of free time. When is it taking I thought it was taking place in like the 18 something. It hmm. could just be like a little anachronism. You I know, think just, it might just be. Just for the purposes <laughs> of like, just kind of like, ah, that's, that's like. Right, like, yeah. it's funny. Like, like yeah. these guys come up with. The background is technically like a little stage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, not yeah, like yeah. a little TV. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of fun. Anyway. So until next time. Bye. bye.